radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family, owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. I 
need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken... No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857! I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Looks like that's all the researchers that need help. Let's go check in with Asta. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. We lost communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? He's that important? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. <sighs> As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. This will strengthen our position. You won't get away. <sighs> Let's make it quick. How about this? <sighs> Time for a detailed overhaul. Someone come on.
the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Something for you. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Someone, come on. For a detailed overhaul. This will strengthen our position. Freeze. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I am no exception. to be broken you won't get away <laughs> here let's make it quick i have something for you fighting is meaningless <laughs> you can't run <laughs> time for an overhaul Let's go. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! You won't get away. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. No interest in conflict. So this is defeat. You can't run. <laughs> you. Time for an overhaul. Ha. You're annoying. I have something for you. Fighting is mean. You can't run. <laughs> Here. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. <laughs> 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 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! You can't run! I've no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me! I don't want to be alone. Fighting is meaningless. You won't get away. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's make it quick. isn't here it has to be nearby let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes to be broken you won't get away I 
have no interest in conflict. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Time for an overhaul. The truth of life and death, revealed in the sanctuary, is but a vision. Break! I have something for you. Ha! Tough luck running into me! You won't get away. Let's go. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. Let's make it quick. I've no interest in. somewhere else. Is this a space station? Himako should be nearby.
You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Xandar came up with the name. You think I'd like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. Oh, you're right! This little one's body truly is strange. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you little twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh. Well, thanks for remembering my name, then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. This little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. All right, give the poor child a break, Herda. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Still haven't made up your mind? Fine. Since I'm interested in you, I'll answer any questions you have. Stellarons, huh? Ask away. I'm listening. Oh, 
that weird bunch. I'm satisfied with just one stellar run. But they've scoured the universe, obtained several, and still aren't satisfied. I don't know what their true intentions are. Screwlum went up against the Stellaron Hunters before. I heard there was a member whose hacking skills were on par with Screwlum. Oh, being on the same level as Screwlum, who's probably the best in the universe, is nothing short of spectacular. It's beyond my abilities. Computers are not my forte. According to my research, it's a type of life form with a special property that tethers it to a certain path or eon's power. Wherever it's located, it responds to that world's desires to advance its civilization. But this comes at the cost of some form of disaster. The mechanism behind it is likely related to Nanook the destruction. Huh, that I don't know. Which is why I'm gearing up to solve this mystery. Suit yourself.